recognize us for five minutes. Mr. Jordan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Dr. Fauci, do protests increase the spread of the virus? Do protests increase the spread of the virus? Uh, I think I can make a general statement. Well, half a million protesters on June 6th alone, yeah. I'm just asking, that number of no. people, does yeah. it increase the spread of the virus? Cra crowding together, particularly when you're not wearing a mask, contributes to the spread of the virus. Should we limit the protesting? I, I'm not sure what you mean should, how do we say limit the protesting? Should government limit the protesting? I, I, I don't think that's relevant to... Well, to, you just said if it increases the spread of the virus, I'm just asking should we limit it? Well, I'm, I'm not in a position to determine what the government can do in a forceful way. Well, you make all kinds of recommendations. You, no. you make comments on dating, on baseball, on everything no. you can imagine. I'm just asking you, you just said it, yeah. that protests increased the spread. No. I'm just asking you, should we try to limit the protests? No, I think I would leave that to people who have more of an, a, a position to do that. I can tell you. Government stopping people from going to church, Dr. Fauci. Yeah. Last week in the Calvary Chapel case, five liberals on the Supreme Court said it was okay for Nevada <clears throat> to limit church services. Governor, I, I mean, Justice Gorsuch said it best. He said, there's no, there's no world in which the Constitution permits Nevada to favor Caesar's palace over Calvary Chapel. I'm just asking, is there a world where the Constitution says you can favor one First Amendment liberty protesting right. over another practicing your faith? I'm not favoring anybody over anybody. I'm just making a statement that's a broad statement that avoid crowds of any type, no matter where you are, because that leads to the acquisition and transmission. And I don't judge one crowd versus another crowd. When you're in a crowd, particularly if you're not wearing a mask, that induces it's a, it's the spread. A simple, it's a simple question, doctor. Should we limit the protest? Government is obviously yeah. lim limiting people yeah. going to church. And, and look, I, I'm there's, not been no, there's been no violence that I, I yeah. can see at church. I haven't seen people yeah. during a church service go out and, and harm police officers right. or burn buildings. But we know that, I mean, for 63 days, right. nine weeks, it's been happening in Portland. Right. Yeah. Well, one night in Chicago, 49 officers were injured, but no limit to pro no limit to protests. But boy, you can't go to church on Sunday. What was the, uh, I don't know how many times I can answer that. I'm not going to opine on limiting anything. I'm just going to tell you. You've opined a on a lot of things, Dr. Fauci. Yeah, but I've never. This said is something that directly anything. impacts the spread of the virus, yeah. and I'm asking your 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 position on the protest. Yeah, I'm. Well, I'm not going to opine on limiting anything. I'm telling you what it is the danger. And you can make your own conclusion about that. You should stay away from crowds, government, no matter where the crowds government stop, are. Government has, uh, government has stopped people from going to work. In fact, just in New Jersey four days ago, Ian Smith, Frank Trombetta were arrested for opening up, for trying to operate their business, their gym. They were arrested. But I, my, my bet is if these two individuals own this gym, were outside just in front of their gym, and all the people who were working out in their gym were outside protesting. They'd been just fine. But because they were in the gym working out, actually running their business, they got arrested. You think that's okay? You know, I'm not going to opine on who gets arrested and who does not. I mean, I, I, you get where I'm going. I'm telling you, as a public health official, I say crowds. Do you see the inconsistency, though, Dr. Fauci? There's no inconsistency, Congressman. There's what? No There's no inconsistency. So you're allowed to protest millions of people on one day in crowds, yelling, screaming, but you try to run your business, you get arrested? And if you stood right outside of that same business and protested, you wouldn't get arrested? Okay. You don't see an inconsistency there? I don't understand what you're asking me as a public health official to opine on who should get arrested or not. That's not my position. You could ask no, you've it as advocate, much as you you've want, advocated for and certain I'm not businesses. It. You've advocated for certain businesses to be shut down. I'm, I'm just asking you on your position on the protest. I I'm mean, not, I haven't seen one. We've heard a lot about hair salons. I haven't seen one hairstylist who, between haircuts, goes out and attacks police or sets something on fire. But we've seen all kinds of that stuff during protest, and we know the protest actually increased the spread of the virus. You've said that. I said crowds. I didn't say specifically. I didn't say protests do anything. So the protests don't increase the spread of the virus? I didn't say that. You're putting words in my mouth. No, I, I, want, I, would, I just want an answer to the question. Do the protests increase the spread of the virus? I, I don't have any scientific evidence that anything. I can tell you that crowds are known, particularly when you don't have a mask, to increase the acquisition and transmission. No matter so what the So you don't have a position is. on whether the protest increased the spread of the virus or don't increase the spread of the virus? I'm saying that crowds, wherever the crowds are, can give you an increased probability that there's going to be acquisition 
and transmission. But do you understand course. Americans' concern? Protesting, according, particularly according to the Democrats, is just fine, but you can't go to work, you can't go to school, you can't go to church. There's limits placed on all three of those fundamental activities, the First Amendment activities, but protesting is just fine. You know, the, I'm, the, gem, uh, the gentleman's time has expired, but I'll just ask the gentleman to just think about his question and put it in reference to crowds that gather in political, at political meetings at fundraisers without masks on an all rig in Texas, nobody wearing a mask, nobody social distancing, but a fundraiser. Right. Would that be problematic? With that, I'll yield five minutes to Mr. Foster. Uh, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record um, story from June 5th, 2020, um, underscoring what Dr. Fauci wouldn't answer today. Dr. Fauci says large protests taking place across the country are a perfect setup for spreading COVID-19. So he said that a month ago, even though he wouldn't say it today. So that's a story from Business Insider, but also ask unanimous consent to enter into the record a June 12th story. Uh, Dr. Fauci tells ABC Powerhouse Politics that attending rallies, protest is risky, even though today his position seems to have changed. Uh, Obviously, his position changed on many things, many times over the last several months. But I'd ask to enter those two uh, articles for the record. Yield well, well, uh, I'll yield to Dr. Fauci. Like I said, any crowd, any crowd, whether it's a protest, but any crowd in which you have people close together without masks is a risk. And I'll stick by that statement. It's a public health statement. It's not a judgment on why you're there in the crowd. It's a statement related to the fact that you're in a crowd. Thank you, Dr. Uh, uh, Fauci. Mr. Chairman, and, and without Mr. Chairman I didn't ask him a question, and you let him respond. I was, I was making unanimous consent. Uh, and I'm going to run this meeting. Well, but I, I would <laughs> like a chance to just, respond just to what remember, you said. Just remember, I'm going to chair this meeting. No, I understand now, you're without the chair. Objection, That's why I said, Mr. Chairman. Without objection, your statements, whatever you got there, will be entered into the record. And without objection, in a gathering, whether you're protesting or whether you're politicking, any gathering would be risky. And that's what the man has said. Yeah, but that's, not, so, that's not what's happening. That's my point. Oh, what, all the, that you're telling me there that are they, limits. People can't go to church, can't go Mr. to work, Mr. Chairman, that gentleman's school. out of order. But they can protest all they the want. Meeting. That goes for the, for the Democrats and Republicans. I, I'll, I'll make the decision as to who is out of order. Uh, I'm going to be as gentlemanly as you would allow me to be. I appreciate okay? it, Mr. Chairman. Well, thank you. And with that, are you five minutes to Mr. Green?